tell you how it is. Let me tell you how it is. Did I buy the food here? Oh, I did. I save this money for investment. Wow. I think I'm gonna do a quick bounty because literally I only need like how many more points do I need? Eighty. Perfect. Ha 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 ha. See, hydro and electro. Hard wielding. Okay. Why is it always here? <laughs> Anyways. Okie dokie. Let's see where this one takes us. Well, I mean, I know where it takes us, but... <laughs> I'm on grave. Yeah, debatable. Oh, there we go. There you are. Solidify. Ah! 
Cool it. Don't push. Don't push your luck. Oh. Anyway. I did it! <laughs> and that full reputation in Liwa. Awesome. Sweet. I got a clee. I got her! I love her so much. What is it? She bark. Oh, that's cute. Pack. Oh, I love it. Aha! Oh. Let's see.
solidified. I'm just waiting for people to come in. That's why I'm just uh, beating up Holy Turtles right now. Order guide you. Wee. Stabilize. Oh, so sorry. I did it. <laughs> What's the hurry? <laughs> yeah. Freeze. Weird why Oceanids mimics are here. There you go, buddy. This moment will be frozen in time. Just gotta smack him with my giant butter knife. Punch. 
Actually, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna farm ley lines. I need to farm ley lines quickly. Oh, wait, there's one I haven't done yet over here. This is gonna This is gonna be a pain. Um Oh, I love that one a little too high. Lol. I feel like there's an easier way to do this and I'm just not finding it.
see. I'm missing something. Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liu Wei's tourist spots, I have a few references. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who... This one? Yeah. Spins on its own. <laughs> Gonna have to that one you can turn, but I don't know where else it would you would <laughs> Can't move the hydro one either. Help me with this one. I can't figure it out. It wouldn't be this way, right? Unless I'm seeing, I'm missing something. It's not glowing like the ones that you can do. I feel like I'm missing. Oh, okay, fair enough. I think, like, maybe that you, like... Like this, and then have it go back in, like, a volleyball game or something. 
And maybe that's what you do. But it's not. That's... I really want to figure this out before I start the thing, because I'm here. Is it really just a lucky... Oh, it was, ah, oh, right off of the, right a little bit off track. Hey, finally, got it. Yeesh, that took too long. I had the right idea, it was just the... It was just the thing! Okay... I should go heal... Boats are made for transferring commodities back and forth. Yes. And those that come across Lior tend to stay a while. So it is where many things come to settle. I should... What? What, dude? I'm gonna go heal at a statue real quick so I don't waste my food. And then we can start this thing. No, because I was waiting for, for you guys to hop on. <laughs> so we got to fight the samurai this t this time this, this go around. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, guys, guys, guys. Oops, that's not the one I wanted to go in. I got a clee! Dodoko? Dodoko, where are you? Look at it! Oh, she's so- I, I have her! I'm so happy! Okay, anyways. <laughs> um, alright. And six twenty it is. It's not four twenty, but alas. Good morning, everyone. 
Hi, Barbara. You're not. Wait, was Barbara not in her summer outfit? No, she's not in her summer Honorary outfit. Night. Honorary night. Not in her summer outfit anymore. You're awake. Morning. Did you have a good rest? Barbara, you're not in your summer outfit anymore. Good morning, traveler. And neither is Jean. Aww. You guys. Jean, your clothes. That's unfortunate. I really love their outfits. Dean, why did you change well, back? this is a complex and evolving situation, so we should be ready for any eventuality. For security reasons, we changed back into more combat-ready attire. Well, I have my outfit on Barbara, so... On my summer outfit on Barbara, so... Uh, yeah. Even though it may not allow us to make the most of the surroundings. My apologies. Those jeans, those pants look like skin tight though. How are you not dying in the heat? Oh, don't apologize. It's in everyone's best interest. <laughs> well, that certainly takes the fun out of things. <sighs> Back to work already. Ladies and gentlemen, the Knights of Favonius Acting Grandmaster. Press of willpower. Good job, Jane. You're too kind. Actually, I think we could learn a lot more from your talents. That's why we can place so much trust in you. Oh, maybe that's what I can do today after this work on my teapot. <laughs> we didn't want to wake you, but I noticed some white smoke coming from one of the other islands. I think it'd be best if we went and investigated it together. Oh, I was like, is investigated a word? It must be Dodo King! Yay, Dodo King! <sighs> Even Paimon's starting to believe that this Dodo King might actually show up. I'm also keen to lay eyes on this so-called Dodo King. All of you, follow me. Let's investigate. Okay, before I do that, I gotta go to the bathroom, so I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Those who share the memory. Shut up. I actually had to go to the bathroom, you dingbat. Anyways. As we were interrupting Zhongwei's speech. Sorry. Wee. Uh... <laughs> Wee! Da 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 Still hurts. Look, there are two figures over there. My question is, how did they get here? Huh? It looks like. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. What the heck are they doing here? Yeah. How did they get here? I am the weird grown-up. Oh my 
god, Clay! <laughs> I had no idea we'd run into you here. An unexpected pleasure. But how did you guys get here? And Nakaya, why are you... What are you two doing here? <laughs> Shut up! Huh? So it's not Dodo King? Hmm. Dodo King. Huh. Hmm. So it was Dodo King that invited you to these islands. What a coincidence. Huh? What do you mean? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. <laughs> Master D. Luke might actually get a tan. Oh my god, Kaya. Hey, did you two sail here? How did you get past the storms and fog? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Storms and fog? We must have gotten lucky. When we arrived, there wasn't a patch of fog in sight. Now it feels like I'm on vacation. <laughs> Probably because of what we did. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport you did. So they did ride on Devalin. Okay. Huh? You mean Devalin carried you here too? <laughs> you seem surprised. Dragon flights are a fairly conspicuous affair. Eye-catching, one could say. Mm -hmm. Wait, so everyone found out that I... It would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. I mean, have you seen how big he is? Anyone could see him from, like, anywhere in fucking Mondstadt, okay? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? Oh my god, he didn't know! I forgot! Oh shit! I guess Devalin must be a diehard fan of classical ballads. <laughs> wow! <laughs> 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 I... I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you assume? The acting grandmaster's jokes have improved. Yeah, I was gonna say. Do we seem like fitting travel They would not be to able to stand each other for as long as it took. <laughs> See? <laughs> there were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons. Ooh! Various reasons? Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion. You mean they abandon you? <laughs> An incisive observation. Nothing ever gets past the honorary knight. <laughs> so, who are the two others? Albedo and Razor. Okay, those are not the two I expected. Why Razor? Huh? Albedo and Razor? <laughs> yeah! Oh, probably because of Klee. I forgot. Albedo is like her brother and Razor's her best friend. Don't tell us you all came here for a vacation. Wait, Kaya, if you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Favonius? <laughs> That's a good question, actually. The mighty librarian Lisa, of course. They got her to do something? What the fuck? <laughs> Not to worry. In some ways, she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoers in Mondstadt need to watch out for the next several days. They got her to do something! I am... What? Thankfully, Lisa's there. <laughs> um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Yeah, but this is funny. Ah, uh, yes. That. <sighs> I should start with how we ended up here. We arrived by dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off of the dragon's back and <laughs> vanished into the ocean. Wow, Razor. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Good job, guys. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact. While D. Luke believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. During our little dispute, Albedo quietly disappeared on us. <laughs> How characteristic Hold of him! On. How come he was able to walk off, but you two are stuck here? He used his flower! Duh, he can float! <laughs> Who knows? Oh. Perhaps we're fated to be doomed together. Right, Master Diluc? God. Kaya, please, not with the foreshadowing. <sighs> is that so? <laughs> is that what it is? Albedo is an alchemist, and skilled at his craft. 
If I could use those beautiful artificial flowers of his, it would be a simple affair to traverse these islands. Why are you, why, wh what are you inferring by that, sir? For some reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your <gasps> insistence did we change course and land here. Oh my, but your footsteps melted the water that I took such effort to freeze. Who made Cryo and Pyro so incompatible? If you had a geovision, I'd be long asleep on one of the other islands. What is going on right now? Oh, so what I saw earlier was just steam from vaporized water? <laughs> what? <laughs> they just melted the... That's like what I do to my friends! God, I love being a D-Luke main. Anyways! I still can't tell if you guys are really close or hate each other's guts! Both. Uh, regardless, <laughs> things seem to be livelier now, which is good. Oh my god. Yes, it is a boon to have extra allies in an unknown situation. You two, please join our travels. Please. <laughs> sure. Yay! But of course. I love them. <laughs> our top priority is to find Albedo and Razor. Do you know which direction they went? For now, it's impossible to locate Razor. As for Albedo, he went that way. Then there's no time to lose! Let's go look for him! <laughs> hmm. yeah. That's gr <laughs> Fucking god, okay. They're the best, I love them so much. Alfredo! Oh my god, did I beach my boat again? I'm so good at beaching my boat! Yeah, I didn't like that either. I'm like, what are you implying, sir? I don't- I don't want to think about anything sad like that. <laughs> Shut it! Shut up! Shut your mouth. <laughs> like, like, I'm not in the mood for that kind of bullshit. I don't want any of my faves dying. Thank you very much. No! They don't. Nobody. Don't answer her question. <laughs> Is he... Oh, he's on the- oh. Oh, well, wait, he, wait, wait blah, 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 here's what we do. Because I suck, I'm gonna just teleport and then <laughs> fly over. Nobody deserves anything in this game because this- because all the characters are tolerable at best. <laughs> Man, this is so cool. <laughs> Fucking, why don't Kyle? We... <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I'm <laughs> feeling a little. Off. Really? Okay. Whatever. Oh, this island <laughs> is really big. Where could he be? Albedo. Mr. Albedo. Get up, moods. <laughs> Albedo, come out. It's gonna happen to all of us eventually, moods. <laughs> Is that the Traveler and Paimon? Whoa! He just came out of nowhere behind us! He's a ghost! He's already dead. Mr. Albedo! Hi, Albedo. I didn't expect to see you here. Hello, everyone. Hello, Klee. I didn't get the- I didn't get the event- I didn't get to do the event that- uh, in Dragon's Mind because they were- because I started playing, like, earlier this year. When it was long done, but like this is I like I like their relationship. I thought that we might convene around this time. I trust you enjoyed your stroll. <laughs> How kind of you to maroon us on that neighboring island. 
Somebody's mad. Oh, please don't mention it. I felt that the two of you could do some alone time. <laughs> Albedo, why did you come here? I received a letter. On the way over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. They were all signed Dodo King. Anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master <laughs> Diluc says Dodo King? Everyone's letter was different. Come on, Kaya. And yet all of them drew us to this archipelago. What did the letter say? My letter was very simple. I have Klee. If you wish to see her, come to the Golden Apple Archipelago. Oh, that's blackmail! Dodo King's trying to coerce you! Correct. It would appear that I have been successfully coerced. Successfully. My letter was similarly straightforward. Among the deserted islands, you will find a sunken pirate ship. Within lies great treasure and long-lost antique vases of incredible rarity. <laughs> it would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Classic Kaya. Does anyone have a clue what he's talking about? No, because that eye patch story was a load of crap. Anyway, so what's your story, D. Luke? There is an Abyss Order stronghold among the deserted islands. Make haste. Right, right. You have to admire their strategy. The right bait for the right fish. So strange. They're all personalized. But why did Dodo King gather everyone here? I have an idea on who wrote the letters. I have an idea. I just realized something. <sighs> this is indeed a mysterious case. Does anyone want to hear my idea? I never trusted the letter to begin with. Why are you here? Yes. It would appear that the grown-ups among us came here primarily to understand what was behind the curtain. I think it's Kazuha. I think Kazuma wrote the letters to get us all here, to help him get back into Inazuma. I think it was Kazuma. But, we'll see. <laughs> uh, didn't Razor get a letter too? He did, though he couldn't read it. Aww. A certain kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman that he encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. A kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman? On the way over? Yeah, I think it's Kazuma because, like, the fact that his his banner and his and the Archon Quest is happening after this and not during this. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Mahoyo. Anyways. Oh, Paimon news! Paimon news! It must be draft, right? The content of Razor's letter was no more complex. The Red Bernie Girl has gone to the islands. She needs help. I knew that that Klee was why they, they Albedo and Razor came. Having heard the contents of the letters, it became abundantly clear that something wasn't right. I don't believe this so-called Dodo King exists, but there is someone or something with a reason for luring us here together. It has to be Kazuma! I'm so excited I figured it out! No! Dodo King is real! He's... He's Dodo! King. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Something caught Razor's attention on the journey over, or he wouldn't have leaped from the dragon's back. Can't believe he leapt from a fucking dragon. I've examined this island. His footprints are nowhere to be found, and there's no sign of a boat having left. Based on our position and bearing when he made the jump, if he didn't land here, then he must have made his way over there. You've already been there? We were there a few days ago. There was a mysterious machine. Jean said that it came from Inazuma. Hmm. Could that be what caught Razor's attention? Everyone, let's head to the central platform. Oh boy. I think we're gonna fight the samurai thing now, right? Uh. Oops, that's not the one I wanted to go to. <laughs> Evan the Jam. 
Yeah, don't say anything, moods, please. I want to be surprised. Catch the wind. What's the hurry? Hey, there's another one of those things. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a waypoint. There's a waypoint there. I keep forgetting which islands have has waypoints and don't. Oh, we're gonna fight him. We're gonna fight him. I know we're gonna fight him. Oh, there's, there's Razor. Razor, puppy. Razor, razor, razor. Everyone. I, I love you, Razor. I am here. <laughs> He's so cute. Razor, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? No need. Okay. What are you doing here? I smelled something. This. Give to you. What's this? Is this a part of the machine? Clear smell. Same as letter. Hmm. Razor did mention that his letter had a peculiar smell. You sure have a great sense of smell, Razor. Yeah, his wolf. <gasps> did Dodo King factor that in too? Probably. Also, this one and that one? <laughs> Same smell. <laughs> <laughs> this thing? Put inside metal person. Same. Here. Oh boy. You want me to do it? Yes. I don't understand how. Traveler is clever. Razor trusts. Oh. Yeah, Kui trusts the honorary knight too. Aw, thank you guys. Not so fast. We need to think this through. What will happen if we reinsert the missing component? This Inazuman machine could well be something that Dodo King left here for us to find and activate. It might reawaken Dodo King himself. Then we will be ready for him. Honorary Knight, prepare yourself. Oh boy, we're gonna fight the samurai. We really wanted to meet Dodo King. That's why we came here, right? Yep, let's do this. Oh god, I'm scared, but I'm ready. I wonder if this is gonna be as hard as Asia Ho was. Okay. Alright, here we go. Wait, oh my god. Did, did it move? Oh, moving. It's moving. Oh my god. Magu <laughs> Kenki. Oh no, buddy. Stabilize. Oh boy. Wait, is this one? Is this one cryo or animo? Oh jeez. I think it's animo actually, never mind. I can see the greenish. God, this is so cool. I don't appreciate that, friend. Okay. Woo! Keep the shield on at all times. Yeah. Time for retro 
confusion! Ow. Rise! Ah. Gather! I like him. Oh, finally. Woo. Look, what's that? Are those crystals? We should ask the expert. Oh, let's hope your faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, well, why don't we start with the machine itself? Our previous conjecture was correct. This giant in Inazuma attire is a machine modeled on the human form. Was it built for fighting? Like ruin guards? I'm afraid so. It possesses significant combat capabilities and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. So those are the Inazuman ruin guards? Its outward appearance confirms its Inazuman origin. But, as far as I know, Inazuma is still under the Sakaku decree. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. God, imagine if they, they're the ruined guards of Inazuma. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> people? I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. I would go so far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population. They were most likely visitors from elsewhere, not indigenous to the islands. <clears throat> they may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the island has been empty, with only a few scattered remnants <laughs> of the past. The fucking audacity. As for the crystals... Hmm... They've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore. Transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? <laughs> that sounds like someone wanted to commemorate the machine. Yes, I had a look at it myself. <laughs> How can I put it? It almost feels like someone left a heartfelt offering of gratitude. Hmm. I see. You know? What about the rest of you? Who do you think would want to commemorate a machine in this way? Perhaps someone who was truly grateful. Only people that had benefited directly from the machine would leave a memorial like this. If the machine coexisted with that first group of humans, then the memorial isn't so hard to understand. Of course, this is only a hypothesis. Of course. Coexisted? You mean before it became damaged? Hmm, I wonder what exactly happened to it. Hmm, there is a Hilicho presence here. Perhaps this machine's indiscriminate attack is actually supposed to be targeted at Hilichurls. To protect the inhabitants. An unlikely coincidence, I would have thought. In any case, this is all speculation. If we want to get to the bottom of it, we'll need more evidence. Evidence. Yes, though we don't have any clues to go on, we should sweep the area again soon. But first, let's focus our attention on the problem at hand. Look, another letter! It must be Dodo King! A letter? Quick, read it! Mysterious Dodo King, Mysterious Dodo King. He sleeps alone on the southwesterly isle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. The secret lies here. Do you dare to proceed? 
More cryptic riddles? Trying to tell us something. What could it mean? And does it have anything to do with those crystals? And also, Southwesterly Isle? Now, which island would that be? The one that's most southwest, you idiot. I'd say it's about time we went and investigated instead of standing here making wild guesses. <laughs> yeah. We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here. There is two? The island over there is really weird. <laughs> it has a big, huge round thingy on it. Round thingy? Lee, did you go off by yourself without authorization again? Uh oh. oh sorry. I just wanted to go for a walk. Oh. <laughs> as long as you didn't activate any mechanisms. <sighs> Even if it seems completely empty here, it's easy to run into danger when you're by yourself. Clee, next time you want to go anywhere, please tell me first, okay? We'll go together. How does that sound? I thought Master Jean is always busy with other things. You really mean it? <laughs> of course. Oh. Yay! Okay! <sighs> Where does she get the energy? I know. <laughs> if Paimon didn't know better, Paimon would think that Jean was Clee's mother. <laughs> you know, I had the exact same thought just now. Oh no, they're thinking the same thing. Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies, Acting Grandmaster. Honorary Knight, let's go and take a look. Where do we have to go? Oh, it has a waypoint. Cool. The forking audacity. <laughs> oh, it's this island. Ooh, I wonder. Uh... Huh? Is this a shield? Hmm. Doesn't look very solid, though. Seems like some kind of energy shield. Careful, all of you. Don't touch it. It might send us flying for all we know. Poke it with your sword. Hmm. <laughs> big shield, big shield! <laughs> Klee knows you're in there! <laughs> hey, Dodo King, it's me, Klee! Come out and face me! Yeah, come out and face her, you hear? No answer. Huh. Maybe he's not here. Maybe he's a forking coward. No, he's gotta be here. Can't swear in front of the little one. The bigger the shield, the badder Dodo King must be. Sounds like Klee logic to Paimon. <laughs> well, I think Klee's right. It's such a huge energy shield. There must be some reason for it to be here. A reasonable inference. I agree. An energy shield needs an energy source. If we can find the connected devices to the source, we should be able to destroy it. Let's all look for any potential devices in the vicinity. Oh! Ready? Steady! Da da da! Clee, walk! Don't run! Come on! You don't want to finish last place, do ya? Let's go! Oh, I think I know. Oh, I think I know. Hold on. Wasn't it those, uh. Geo Pyro and, and Hydro. Yeah, this thing! This thing! I found it! I win! What did I win? Quick! Look! Look! Hmm. This does look like it could have something to do with the shield. Three devices in total. And look, the light converges in one place. Albedo, are we able to deactivate the shield from here? Albedo, eh? Hmm. <laughs> Yay, I got a good thing! These light emitting devices each have a small frame in front of them. Looking at the shape here, it seems like something is supposed to be fixed in place. What shape is that? Um, I don't get it. Someone explain. <laughs> An oblong circle. Fan shaped, I suppose. <laughs> oblong is such a funny word. Hmm, what could it be? We're by the ocean. This shape is a seashell, perhaps? 
Hey, he doesn't want anyone in his personal space bubble, okay? I understand. I don't like large gatherings either. But hey, shut up! What we've seen were either bigger or smaller than this shape. <laughs> if it's not a shell, then it's got to be... Huh, a fish scale. A fish scale? But why would we want to put a fish scale there? Guys, the... Are there any other clues around? Whatever it is. We'd be placing it into the frames in front what of the light What about the stones device. we got, you guys? Which means? It would have to be transparent. Right! <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Oh, so that's what they're for. If I'm not mistaken, this is a very particular type of installation. Light is integral to its function. I've seen similar designs elsewhere. The light has to meet certain requirements or emit on a specific path. The mechanism is only activated guys, if the light conditions are met. Guys, the the crystals we just got. It would appear that these three installations are the keys to activating the energy shield. I feel like this is going on way longer than it needs to. Would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installations themselves each have their own color. Red, blue, and yellow. Yes, just like letter. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. Huh, that's right. Honorary Knight, didn't that big machine we just defeated drop something? Yes, the three crystals, light you guys. Light like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves, light yellow like autumn leaves. It looks like these three crystals might be the answer to this whole riddle. Yes. Give precious things to the greedy spirit in the sea. Huh, is that what we have to do? If my understanding is correct... Huh. Honorary Knight, I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. In the sea? I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean-dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan. In that case, Paimon's got something to say. On the way over, Paimon saw a huge conch shell with lots of fish swimming around it. If we're placing the crystals in the sea, then surely that's the best place to do it. Plus, the water is pretty shallow over there. It'll be easy to get the crystals back if the plan doesn't work. Wow, is Paimon actually being smart? It will work. Don't jinx it. <laughs> okay, okay. It'll work. Everyone follow Paimon. I love that Clue's vision is in her backpack. It's just a sweet... It's just... I love it. Anyways, I love Clee. I'm so happy I got her. <laughs> I need to work on her. That's why I'm not being her right now. Otherwise, I would totally be her. Oh, whoops. What? You weren't even pulling for Clea and you got her, so shut up. Uh... Oh, there we go. Yellow one. Red and blue. Look, it's the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> should do it, right? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't make that joke before. But where are the fish? Clee, was there anything else on that letter? Oh, uh, um, what was it? <laughs> greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. The days go dark, the stars are rising. So, maybe this type of fish only comes out after dark? In fact, Shadow is my favorite Sonic the Hedgehog character. Or to put it another way, we're gonna be here all night. <laughs> Catch fish. Eat. Yeah, yeah. Let's, Let's go, go fish blasting. Hey. Hold on, Klee. Will Master Jean come too? Jean said if Klee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean. And then we can go together, right? Uh, yes, I did say that. <sighs> All right, then. Time to go fish blasting with Klee. Uh, is Paimon hearing things? Jean and Klee are gonna go fish blasting? Fish blasting! Whee! It's way worth it. The fish will taste so good. You wouldn't have to grill them. This is a deserted island, so explosions shouldn't trouble anyone. It's just a bit of relaxation, right? 
Find some fish! Find some fish! Let's go! <laughs> there! Mini fish! Who's gonna get there first? Wait! Wait! Whoop! There they go! Oh. <sighs> if Fraser is going, then I suppose it's fine. Once everyone is settled in, I will go after them. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic. I was just thinking about taking a stroll. <laughs> Meaning you're off on another pirate treasure hunt? <laughs> Who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. Captain Kaya's on the case. <laughs> Mr. D. Luke, aren't you interested in pirate treasure? No. Hardly. I'm more interested in peace and quiet. See, I told you. No touchy this personal space Harman bubble. Harmon doesn't think you'll settle for nothing to do. Uh, you'd be surprised if when, when about the no, uh, the amount of nothing people who don't care about being around other people would do. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. All right, bye. For a bunch of grown-ups, they really can't sit still for more than a few seconds. So restless. <laughs> At least Albedo's able to sit and enjoy the... Huh? Albedo! He left ages ago. Albedo said that he wanted to spend some time alone painting. I mean, this is a beautiful scenery, so... Jeez, I don't blame him. up with everyone? Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. It's not often that we get a taste of island living. I'm not surprised that everyone wants some time to themselves. Everyone should enjoy the break while it lasts. I'll convene everyone when the fish arrives. <sighs> I suppose we have let our focus drift a little. But at the end of the day, you can't deny that this ocean view really is something. I miss going to Greece. Oh, traveler, make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself, too. You're the best, Jean. You know, I, I was just... <sighs> what I mean is, I hope you enjoy yourself here. No matter what is waiting for us down the line, I will protect everyone, especially Klee. This is my duty as the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Havonius. That's Jean for you. Always reliable. You're a very hardworking person. I hope you can get some proper rest here. Traveler, <laughs> thank you. It is nice of you to say so. Anyway, I hope we can all find moments of peace and happiness on this beach. Yay! Oh! Mysterious mechanical monster has been awakened at last. Ooh! Let's see what I have to do. Defeat Magu Kenki two times, three times. Long range attacks can trigger the Magu Kenki's mask parry. Defeat it without triggering this parry. So don't use long range attacks? Is that what it means? Oh, okay. Does it count if I have the shield or no? Hi, Klee! Oh, Miss Honorary Knight! Okay. You wanna chat? Ooh, okay! <laughs> About Dodo King. That big meanie must be a bad guy. Miss Honorary Knight must be careful. <laughs> oh, I will. Don't worry, baby. Even though I haven't seen him yet, I will definitely protect Dodoko. I won't let Dodoko be taken away. Yeah. Even if he's Dodoko's... Dodoko's... Uh... Grandpa? Brother? Or whatever. <laughs> no matter who Dodo King is, I won't lose. Tell me about these islands. I love it here. There are beaches, the ocean. 
and the harpastum that Barbara gave me and all the other wonderful things, everyone here makes it really exciting. <laughs> I'm super happy. Oh. Tell me about yourself. Actually, I'm a little scared. Why that? If I fail, then Dodoko will leave me. Miss Honorary Knight, will you protect Dodoko? I certainly will. Really? As long as you're around, Dodoko and me are safe. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I love her so much. I'm gonna cry. About what happened today. Hmm, I still don't understand some things. But everyone's here now, and even Mr. Albedo and Razor are here too. It's nice. <laughs> there are even more games we can play. I love being with everyone. I won't disturb you. Okay. When you want to go fish bombing, just remember to find me. <laughs> oh my god. I love her so much. The ocean really is beautiful at night. Sure. What would you like to talk about, traveler? How's work these days with the knights? Work? As long as Lisa's there, I'm not worried. She's more hardworking than anyone once she gets going. I'm surprised they actually got her to not be lazy. Still, I put a lot on her plate this time. I do feel a little guilty. Well, technically Kaya did because he's the one who you left. And then he left and then left it to her, so... Hmm. I must send her a gift. It's a good thing that I know what she likes. <laughs> Sorry. I've never visited an archipelago like this before. It certainly is a place like no other. It has something of the unknown about it and seems to have its fair share of dangers. And yet, the mystery is all part of its beauty. It has a charm that I can't quite put my finger on. I think I'm slowly beginning to understand what drives adventurers to go in search of unknown places. Traveler, you're an adventurer. Do you understand what I mean? Of course, safety still comes first when adventuring. You know, I think I've come to realize that I'm lacking a certain... fun side? Sorry, I don't know exactly how to put it. Traveler, I want to ask you something. Sure. Do you think that I'm... too serious? I guess that's why everyone wants me to get more rest and relaxation. Apologies. No, no, that's what made Jean so sweet. Huh? I, I never thought that anyone would consider my personality as sweet. Thank you for your constant kind words and comfort, Traveler. Whatever the case, I think I know what everyone is getting at. I'll do my best to improve. Work? Whoops. Still, I hmm. I did that one already. I must send her a gift. It's a good thing that I know what she likes. I honestly never thought that all of us would end up here. I don't know if this is right, but I think it's made Klee very happy. Yeah. She likes having fun and being around people. She can take care of the excitement, and I'll take care of everyone's safety. <laughs> what a beautiful view. The ocean is good company. I hope we can all find some peace and happiness while we're here. All right. Good night. Kaya! Hi. Oh, you've arrived at a most opportune time, honorary knight. <laughs> Klee just invited me to catch lizards with her. Aww. Care to join? Sure. Let's take advantage of the precious time left until lizard duty. About why you came to the island? Let me guess. You're thinking something along the lines of <laughs> Kaya seized an opportunity to shirk his duties. Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Why do you think of me so? <laughs> of course I have a special reason for coming here. Do you really? Generally speaking, I'm responsible for wrapping up various cases. But this particular incident is special. What are you, reconnaissance? You see, not only is the acting Grand Master here, but the former fiery cavalry captain as well. Oh. Naturally, I had to see it for myself. <laughs> I see. He didn't believe he'd actually leave the winery. Also, it seems like I ought to appreciate the splendid scenery and enjoy every second of summer. 
A hmm. lovely place, wouldn't you agree? When beholding a beautiful view, your expression should complement its beauty. Hmm. Just listening to the waves and recalling old memories is also nice. Hmm. I just thought of something. What? Wouldn't it be great if we could age in reverse? To be a child again and free yourself from the strife of the adult world. Uh, no. No, not really. Considering I was bullied relentlessly as a child. No, thank you. To be like Klee. Unrestrained and free to do whatever you want. <laughs> do you not also yearn for such a thing? Oh. Oh, that's kind of sad. Oh, no. Oh, baby. <laughs> What's the matter? D Luke's scowl still bothering you? I just. Oh, that's really sad. I just realized what he was. What he meant. Oh, my God. He's had that expression on his face for years now. He internalizes a lot of his feelings. So I'm afraid his face is. Stuck like that. <laughs> Just treat him like a big kid. Why is his face so concerned? Oh my god, I'm dying! In my opinion, it would be a good thing if people could stay young forever. Stop! <laughs> hmm? What is that, you ask? <laughs> would I do such a thing? I wasn't jibing him. What does jibing mean? Whether they be adults or children, everyone on this island sure is a source of concern. Going so soon? Huh. Then have a good night. I'm just sad now. What the fuck? Damn it. I hate it here. God. Why does everyone have to be so sad? This game is just full of sad people. Alright. Well. I'm just like, uh. Uh oh. My controller's running out of batteries. Let me plug that in real quick. Alright. Let's go over there. If you want, if you think that I'm like gonna need help, then go for it. Oh, I bet that's where Albedo is, cause he's gonna he wants to study the thing. Oh, Razor. No, actually, don't tell me. I'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting I can trans- I can, uh... God, I love the music here. You would- I don't wanna- mm. Oh, it turns dark whenever you go up against him. Oh, there's a conch! Hold on, I gotta grab it. Strange com component. Razor hungry. Oh. Hungry for fish. Razor. Water on the left, and on the right, more water. Oh, there he is! I see Razor. I was like, is that Razor? Razor. 
kind of want to use Razor more. Oh, it's you. Hi. Hmm. Do you want to eat fish? I'm not good at it. Oh. But I'll stay with you. Oh, he's so cute. About the scent. Scent is very strong. In the sky, can smell. So, I came down. This place is salty. There are also leaves, grass, fruit. Your scent smells nice. Aw, thank you. I, I like to smell good. I have a lot of perfumes in my room. Too... too much water. Left, right, everywhere. Aw. But... I like swimming. Me too! Aww, I love, I love Razor. I was worried. So I came to look. Yes, right now, I'm hungry. I want to eat fish and meat. Today, I find you all. Everyone's okay. That's good. He's such a... I love him. No bad things. I would be scared. Oh. I'll protect everyone. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> My heart. I love him. I love him so much. Anyways, here, I'm gonna... Oh, I have this entire... I'll listen to them all at the end. I know you have to beat him three times. Okay, let me go find her and then I'll, uh... beat him up again. Whoa, that was weird. Huh. <laughs> Don't break your hip bones too much. Where is she? how the sky just suddenly turns from black or from dark to light is she am I just being stupid again After I'm done. Talking to everyone. I'm gonna go and uh, get. Farm some ley lines for. Cle for heroes with for Klee. Cause as you can. I have like zero. Down the beach. Oh there she is. Barbara. Ba 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 ba. Banana. Honorary night. Good timing. Would you like to watch the ocean together? Okay. Is there anything you wanted to talk about? Tell me about Ludi Harpastum. You're probably familiar already, but Ludi Harpastum is a traditional Mondstadt festival. During the festivities, we throw beautiful, brightly colored Harpastums into the air. It's a way for us to commemorate the animal archon and send them glad tidings. A festival for all ages. <laughs> Klee loves Ludi Harpastum. Still, it's not quite here yet, so I made her that special Harpastum. I wonder if we're gonna get that as an event. Oh, I hope it cheers her up. She has such a contagious smile. I can't help but smile myself when I see her. <laughs> it's such a great feeling. I know my sister is always telling us to keep our guards up, 
But for me, these islands are a lot of fun. Sitting on the beach, looking out into the starry summer sky, humming along to the rolling waves. It's so romantic. And with you here, the summer feels just that much more special. Aww. Barbara. Oh, me? Well, I... I... Well, actually, I... <sighs> you want to know the truth? I only came to the islands out of concern for everyone's safety. Although, I admit that I didn't want to miss out on traveling together with all of you either. Aww. I... Oh, I hope you won't laugh at me. Well, after all, a deaconess shouldn't concern herself with matters of fun and games. I wouldn't dare. <sighs> then I'm glad. I had no idea the others would be here too. It was so nice to have everyone suddenly together like that. I want to use this opportunity to get closer to everyone, especially my sister. Oh. It might just be her personality, but she's always incredibly busy. She carries a lot on her shoulders. I oh. hope she can start to take more time for herself and relax a little more. At the very least, I hope I can make her happy when I'm around. I wonder if I should sing her a song. Hmm. No problem. See you later. Uh, and she's really cute. Ah. Uh, all right. Well, now I'm gonna go beat up that guy again. Because I have to. Gather! God, he's so cool! I love this guy. The mask is a bit weird, though. His eyes are following me. Oh, now you're... Why? Okay, never mind. Ow. Rude. Solidify. Like the eyes are following you. That's so weird. Oh shit. Ah! I'll heal real quick. dare you, sir? Hi back, I'm Rowlet. Order guide you. Ow, rude. How dare you? Stabilize. Oh, stop. 
I'm not even looking for him right now, as you can see. I'm doing the fight so I can get those gems. Guys, I really love this boss, and I don't know if it's because I'm like a fucking weeb who loves like ancient Japanese myth like ancient Japanese stuff or whatever, like history or whatever, but I just I really love this boss. Oh my god. No, I didn't yet. I haven't gotten to 55. Ow. Stabilize. I don't know, is it? Is 91 the highest? Oh. Stabilize. Controlling it. I know it's a machine, but it's like a puppet. So cool. Got him. Oh! Huh. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yep. Listen, as long as you stick to your own path, it doesn't matter what Mother Nature throws at you. <laughs> Thank you. Um... The Bridge Island? Which one is that again? Is it this one? Yeah, okay. Obviously, it has the bridges. Okay, bitch. Okay. I want to beat up some hilly trolls on the way. There they are. <laughs> but I want to beat up these hilly trolls first. Why? This is order. <laughs> that one just exploded. <laughs> what? What? Why am I rude? Huh? I was literally, literally... Okay! But they died together! So that's kind of- Oh, I see a treasure chest. Oh, there he is! <laughs> I was like, wait a minute! <laughs> Hello? Walking along the shore by yourself at this time of night seems lonesome. Well, look who's talking! Sure. <laughs> I was skeptical of the letter from the beginning, but out of caution, I asked others about it. Sure enough, I wasn't the only recipient. Well, obviously. This is clearly a premeditated act. A responsible party's objective has yet to be revealed, so I came here to investigate. 
I know it, now it that is. I'm here, you can relax. Thank you. <laughs> the scenery here is not bad. Walking on the shore at night almost makes you feel like you're on a vacation. <laughs> Could this be a ploy to lower our guard? Not everything is gonna get you. Me? My affairs are hardly worth discussion. It's okay. Rather, I'm more concerned about your situation. How is it? Getting used to island life? That's not bad. If you need help, come find me anytime. <laughs> Sorry. And if you find any clues, contact me at once. <laughs> Speaking of which, Clee just asked me to help her catch fish. Oh. <sighs> come with me if you want to. Did I do this one? I think I did. Okay. Good night. Get some rest. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, I didn't? Walking oh, along the see. shore by yourself at this time of night seems lonesome. Sure. Oh, what happened today? Today? Oh. Oh, you mean that. Frivolous happenings aren't worth your attention. And as for Kaya, <laughs> he seems to be in high spirits. Even after all these years, he still enjoys summer as much as he did as a kid. Oh, boy. Good night. Get some rest. <sighs> Fucking God. Okay. Look, guys, we're on vacation. Don't make it sad with your bullshit. <laughs> I'm gonna beat up this hilly chill now to make myself feel better. <laughs> God damn it. Solidify. Everyone was like, I love how the traveler was like, well, he's gone already. <laughs> Bye, Albedo. And I'm like, okay. I'm gonna swim over here. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I'm too lazy to care. I'm not? Okay. I didn't make it. Yeah. Yeah, that was me totally not making it. What? You always make fun of me, so I can't make fun of you? That's hypocritical. Or that's, uh, not hypocritical. I will have order. I forgot. I don't know what the word is. Ah. Yeah, but last time we saw him, it made me cry, and I didn't really appreciate it. <laughs> hey, guys, what's the best kind of kill? Overkill. <laughs> wow, that guy went flying. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, that was totally me not making it. <laughs> Let's 
see. Of course. Why, uh, where wouldn't he be? Why wouldn't he be? Is he on this island? Were we on this island already? Oh, this is where we first found him, right? Oh, hey! Oh, right, I have to... I hope they put this soundtrack on Spotify. <laughs> this island music is really, really nice. Oh, you said there was one where... I'm looking for it. I was looking for it. Why are you yelling at me? Oh, there's the, um... The one I was asking you about earlier. With the... Apparently the animal one was right there and I was just stupid and wasn't paying attention. So, there's that. But what else is new, right? Ambido slimies! I love them, they're so cute, they have little wings and they... deflate like a balloon when you kill them. Hey, don't be mean. Whoa, what the fuck? I love their little wings, they're so cute. God, I love it. Anyways, now, gotta go find Albedo. This whole island is a chunk of Mondstadt Mountain. I knew it. A great force dislodged mountain. it from the mountain range and cast it into the sea. As it fell, it began to spin and ultimately landed upside down. Hence the topography you see today. Rather interesting. Another masterwork by the Animo Archon Barbados, no doubt. Now I'm just imagining Venti chucking big mountain rocks off the side of the uh, off the into the ocean <laughs> can you imagine like venti like oh, this would make a nice island <laughs> oh there he is hi albedo hmm? oh that's you Taking a walk around these parts? Okay. What would you like to discuss? I have conducted all manner of research. But flying from Mondstadt to this island on a dragon? That was a first. It was a good experience. In the sky, just speaking requires you to muster all your strength, since the winds are so strong. Opportunities to communicate loudly with others are scarce. Although I have little interest in it, the process was interesting. Yeah, that, that, that's what happened. <laughs> I suppose this could be considered an unforgettable memory. The nature of this island is extraordinary. Like a sealed away secret, it opens only at specific times. And yet, the island still contains traces of human activity. Additionally, a plethora of organisms are present here. Science. Is science and alchemy different? I mean, alchemy is a type of science, yes, but, like, is it, like, different things? I don't understand. Ever since we arrived, I've been thinking, what is the limit to life? Even the in the most desolate of places, will some form of life exist? Meaning of life. Me? I'm doing quite well here. Thank you for your concern. 
How do you feel here, if I might ask? Pretty good. Okay, that's good to hear. There are many landscapes worth drawing here. If you'd like to see, you may accompany me. Today's events didn't feel that out of the ordinary. Uh, hmm? yes. Sorry, do you mean when I left by myself? <laughs> uh, that was a personal choice. Don't stress over it. Sometimes I like to be alone. I do too. It's okay. Yeah. Communicating uh... with others can be a taxing affair. Oh god, why is he just me? But if I were to choose someone to talk to, I would pick you. Oh my god, Albedo. You're just me, but you're smarter. You're intelligent. And I like to talk to intelligent people. Today's events didn't feel that out of the ordinary. Hmm? Sorry, do you mean when oh, I- Oh, right. uh, That was a communicate. You're intelligent. And I like to talk to intelligent people. Alright. Good night. Are you a homuncul- homunculus, sir? Please tell me. Cause that would be pretty cool. How? Jesus, he's short. Look at that. Delug is just freakishly tall. Oh, I don't, fuck. Short people unite. Oh, you said they were con- There were conch- conch- conches on where everyone was? Oh, right, right, right. Probably gonna be them arguing. <laughs> oh, wait. There's one. I hope it doesn't get sad. Please tell me it doesn't get sad. I'm already sad enough. God damn it. Okay. My existence. Oh, no. Oh! Oh! I forgot. I did a bounty when I started the stream, and I got Max re max Rep in, in Lewa, so I have the Golden Wings now. I just haven't put them on yet, because I, I wanted to... Okay! Okay! Whoops, not that one. See? I got him. Those are so pretty. I don't know who else to put them on, though, so... Maybe Klee? Klee looks like... I don't know, maybe Klee would be look good with them on. These bombs, so heavy! Which one? <laughs> um... <clears throat> ah! <laughs> right. What do you think? They look good on her, don't they? The oranges and the reds. Yeah, I'll put them on her. It actually really looks good. I know! I mean, she's like two feet tall, so... Small. She's like ten feet tall. Or ten feet. Jesus. I meant like two feet tall. Can you imagine how fucking scary a ten foot tall Klee would be with her bombs.
<laughs> Please smash. Or explode. <gasps> now where is this conch? Solidify! Oh! Oh, that's the bacon. Oh. How- how does it- Okay. Whatever. <laughs> um, it's just in the mountain! What? <laughs> it's, it's stupid! Okay, whatever. Oh! Some things I can shoot. Hooray. How did it get in the mountain like that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 That just a. quick on the uptake because I'm yeah. fucking stupid and I don't know anything. D oh, there it is. Yeah. The fish from here must taste amazing. Clee really wants to try one. Oh, me baby. All right. Let's go catch some fish together. But we need to be quiet, okay? We mustn't let my big sister find out. Oh, Barbara helped her. Oh. Really? You like eating fish, too? <laughs> I sure do. But I like catching them even more. When we were kids, my sister and I used to go catching fish together sometimes. Well, she might look super serious now. But let me tell you, when she was a kid, she was so much fun. She even had a pet tortoise. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, that's adorable. I love that. Man, I wish I could have fish, but I'm allergic. I I had fish for once, thinking that I outgrew my allergy. Um, it tasted really good. That one. What kind? Oh 
Okay, let's see. Dark Haunch? I just... I think it was actually. Yeah, I think it was this one. I just want to know so I can I know which tele which island to go back to. done my weekly bosses yet. Huh. Interesting. the goddamn boat. No time to lose. Grab these guys first, I guess. 
See, Luke, you're a man who knows his own mind. So help me decide. Is it seabird hunting time? Or seashell collecting time? <sighs> what is that supposed to mean? Come now, D. Luke, be nice. Do you really want to stay here and do nothing at all? We might as well find a way to pass the time. I simply thought collecting seashells might be fun. It was last time. Although, we were much younger then. I didn't know you still remembered anything from back then. <laughs> what art? Alright. I'll check you later. We're gonna head out too. I just really wanted to do the uh Yeah. Oh, unless you wanna watch me beat up this guy one last time. But I can do that on my own. I'll do this one last time. Stabilize. Ah, oh, this thing is so cool. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ah, burn. Yeah! 
I wonder what the rest of the Harbingers... up to plotting and scheming on an ever grander scale no doubt
party. I'm actually gonna head out now, guys. 